Hey friends, this week I'm sharing the recipe for tofu pudding, a delicious silky dessert topped with a decadent ginger syrup. This wonderful sweet treat is simply amazing when homemade and the recipe is really easy. I hope you'll join me in this short video. For the ingredients have fresh soy milk, cornstarch, water, and gluconodeltalactone, GDL for short. GDL is an acidifier and coagulant and is often used in making tofu. I'll share a link on where to purchase below the video. For the ginger syrup, have fresh ginger, sugar, water, brown slab sugar, or brown sugar. Use fresh soy milk to make the tofu pudding. Fresh soy milk provides the best results. The pudding will set properly and have a silky texture. I shared the how-to video for making soy milk earlier. Make the fresh soy milk, including cooking it completely, and that is the starting point for this recipe. In a medium saucepan, bring the soy milk to a gentle boil over medium-low heat. Stir occasionally to prevent the milk from sticking to the bottom of the pot and burning. Use a fine sieve to skim off any bubbles or foam from the top and discard. While the soy milk is heating, let's prepare the thickener. In a small bowl, add the water and cornstarch. Whisk together until the mixture is smooth. In another small bowl, measure out the GDL. Once the milk comes to a gentle boil, turn off the heat. Stir the cornstarch and water mixture again. Add the GDL and then mix together. Pour the thickener into a large bowl. Working quickly, pour the soy milk into the bowl. Give it just one quick stir. The bottom starts to set really quickly, so you don't want to over stir this mixture. Quickly skim off any bubbles from the top. Cover the bowl with a kitchen towel and then place a lid on top. Let rest undisturbed for 30 minutes. To make the ginger syrup, start by peeling the ginger. Cut the ginger into small pieces. Transfer the ginger into a small bowl and add the sugar. Combine together and let rest for 10 minutes. Using a wooden pestle, break the brown slab sugar into smaller pieces. Transfer the ginger into a medium saucepan. Using medium low heat, cook the ginger, stirring continuously. The sugar will melt and then recrystallize. This takes about five to six minutes. Be sure to stir continuously so the sugar doesn't burn. When the sugar recrystallizes, add the water and the brown slab sugar. Cook over medium heat, melting the sugar. Stir occasionally to help break up the sugar. Once the brown sugar is completely dissolved, reduce the heat to medium low. Continue cooking for another five to six minutes, allowing the mixture to thicken into a syrup. The syrup is done when it no longer pours off the spoon, but rather drips off slowly. Keep in mind the syrup continues to thicken as it cools. Transfer into a medium bowl and let cool. Back to the tofu pudding. It's set now and should still be warm. To serve this dessert, skim off thin layers of the tofu pudding and transfer into a bowl. Top with a generous amount of ginger syrup. The pudding is soft and delicate, so handle it gently. The trick to serving the pudding in nice thin layers is to use a spoon with a thin or sharp edge. This dessert is commonly enjoyed warm, but you can certainly chill it for a refreshing treat. Here are some recipe tips and tricks. Do not combine the GDL with the cornstarch mixture in advance. Combining early and letting the mixture sit will make it turn sour. The GDL should be combined with the cornstarch mixture in the final steps. Work quickly. These last steps should take about a minute. To keep the dessert warmer for a longer period of time, make it in a slow cooker. Combine everything together and let rest in the slow cooker. Once the tofu pudding is set, use the keep warm function to keep it warm for as long as you need it. In case you're wondering, I tried this recipe with store-bought soy milk. Both are refrigerated products. The one on the left is from my local Asian grocery store and worked wonderfully with this recipe. The one on the right is from my neighborhood health food store. Unfortunately, the pudding did not set up when I used this product. I share more recipe tips and tricks on my blog, so please stop by. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. 
For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.